Shalom Beth El. As you well know, this week our area was affected pretty badly by the hurricane along with much of the eastern seaboard. When you go around our area, you still see trees down, power lines still down, massive flooding and damage to homes. As far as I know, no one in our community was hurt, thank God. And it's at moments precisely such as these when we're reminded of so many of the comforts we come to expect automatically, whether it's air conditioning or internet connection or running water, each of these is a tremendous gift. And it's tempting to expect these to just happen, to take them for granted and feel they're coming to us. But when we lose a sense of gratitude and awe, we lose a sense of humility and what it means to be most essentially human. We lose sight of God, we lose sight of each other. And this is the profound lesson that Moshe teaches our people towards the beginning of this week's Torah portion, Akev. When Moshe describes a scenario in which the people are eating well, living in beautiful homes, and then falsely believe that it's through virtue of their own hand, their own strength, their own power, that they deserved and earned this wealth. Moshe says, no, you must remember God. You must remember each other. And so we can't take any of these gifts ever for granted. Soon enough, the debris will be cleared from our area. Items that are damaged will be fixed. We'll continue on with our lives. We might even not, not even think about this storm until the next one strikes. But until then, we have so much for which to be grateful, whether it's the roofs over our heads, whether it's the water that nourishes us, whether it's the electricity that connects us, or even most importantly, our loved ones with whom we connect. There are so many reasons to have hope and to celebrate going forward. And fittingly, this week's Torah portion, like the hurricane, I guess, Isais, is from the book of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, who in the second Haftarah of Consolation, the second one after Tisha B'Av, that dark point in our calendar, is offering us the comfort of the reminder that God is truly with us, that God's embrace is always there, like a mother with children, and that there's always hope, there's always connection. We're reminded of our own worth, and we can't take that abundance of blessing for granted. So we prepare for Shabbat, we go into this new chapter, with ever open hearts and with so much connection. Shabbat Shalom.